Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the issues caused by the Windows 10 anniversary update and how to overcome it. All credit goes to Lifehacker for finding the fix. It was originally made to fix webcams and Xbox controllers that the update broke, but it also works for the HDK2 as well. Today's test computer is an Intel i5-6400, 8GB of RAM, and a Radeon RX 480. I've tested this fix on both an NVIDIA chipset and an Intel HD graphics chipset so the fix is universal. First we're going to update the computer to the Windows 10 anniversary update. We are now on the Windows 10 anniversary update. There's a couple of changes you will immediately notice, such as the new lock screen, and the start menu looking a bit cleaner. I'm now going to show you some of the issues caused by the update. One of the biggest issues I was facing was when you tried to open the OSVR server, the server would never detect a headset. It would either stay on the holder right there screen, or it wouldn't even get this far at all. Another issue is that the track reviewer would never open. It would just keep polling until it crashed. Let's try this again to show you that no matter what you do, it's never going to connect. First you're going to open up regedit. Navigate to HQ local machine. Software. And scroll all the way down to Microsoft. Inside here you're going to find the folder called Windows Media Foundation. Right click on Platform. Select New, D Word. Name it Enable Frame Server Mode. Now right click on it, hit modify, and make sure the value is set to zero. Navigate back up to software, and select WoW 6432 node. Select Microsoft. Go all the way down to Windows Media Foundation again. Right click on Platform and select New D Word. Name it Enable Frame Server Mode.
make sure the value is zero. And that's it, you could exit regedit. Now you need to restart your computer. Okay, now that the computer has been restarted, let's try opening up the OSVR server. As you can see, it immediately found the position. Everything should be working fine now. Let's try opening up a game on SteamVR to see how it works. Steam has detected the headset. Let's try Elite Dangerous. As you can see, everything is working fine. Both the tracking and the gyroscope are working perfectly. A couple of days ago, Microsoft announced on their developer forums that they are working on an update that's going to be released mid-September that's going to address all the issues found in this video. But for now, this should work. Thank you for watching.